Hello guys, how you doing? So, I'm going to watch the special episodes of the fifth season of Sinfugir today. And man, it's quite sad that um, Sinfugir is coming um, uh, to an end. So I have these um, four special episodes and then that's it. Uh, but it's been um, like a really amazing experience. I really enjoyed uh, uh, everything um, about um, this story and uh, like especially the characters themselves because of uh, like dual development uh, behind them. Um, and yeah, it's uh, it's something that uh, really impressed me and uh, like I I want to to like talk about the villains right now because um, I feel like they were. Like, of course, they played a big part during this, um, but uh, it's not like uh, they were doing bad things um, for no reason. So it was always really interesting uh, to find out um, uh, more about um, like their reasons and uh, why they were doing uh, um, those bad things. So it was um, like quite easy to understand them and to at some point feel some compassion because it's, it's not like they were... Um, I, at least to some of them, I'm not going to say like everyone, like every single villain, um, but uh, some of them, um, like it's like they had uh, no other choice. They they weren't bad people to start with, but uh, uh, they were like they had no other options and they ended up being uh, uh, influenced by um, the wrong people. Um, but yeah, that's uh, definitely something um, I really enjoyed. So getting to understand more about um, each of these, um, like each of these characters, um, and yeah, it's uh, it's definitely going to be great to watch some more uh, special episodes. But then again, it's going to be sad because there won't be anything else. Um, and yeah, I'm not uh, like um, that good at making reviews or anything, but uh, I'm just. Uh, um, I just want to say that I was really happy um, to have uh, started um, watching this. It's something that uh, um, I really enjoyed uh, watching. And again, especially the characters and like all of these girls. It was always uh, amazing to, to see everything that they did and uh, how much um, they learned with uh, uh, every single situation. Um, and then we had uh, a really happy ending. So it was uh, something that um, like made me really happy of course and uh, there was also this detail by the end it's the fact that uh, Ibiki and Miku they actually ended up um, seeing those shooting stars together so that was something that they wanted to do uh, since uh, the very first season so I mean this is just one of many um, like little details that made uh, everything um, like a lot more beautiful so there was uh, a lot of these um, like again small details that uh, I started uh, like realizing uh, after I finished uh, um, the season uh, and there's probably a lot more that uh, I'm still uh, not aware of I mean in the end this story was uh, like really complex and there was um, again a lot of uh, these details so it's hard to uh, pick up on um, all of them um, in such a short um, amount of time um, and uh, you guys were uh, like really helpful with that, so it was um, it was really nice to uh, have a lot of you trying to help me understand uh, um, a lot more about um, not only the story but uh, all of the um, connections to uh, things from uh, like uh, mythology and stuff, so like things from uh, real life. Um, and yeah, right now just uh, really can't wait to um, to watch these um, uh, these special episodes. I mean, they are always uh, really enjoyable, and I'm expecting uh, um, these ones to to pretty much be the same. So to uh, like to um, to make me have um, a good time. Um, and yeah, also expecting the like pretty much everyone who played a part in the fifth season uh, to appear during this. So really can't wait to see what exactly they're going to do during it. So hope you guys are ready and let's start this first one. I also forgot to mention, but I'm going to watch all four of them in this video. It's going to be the final one. Oh. <laughs> the 
these ideas. Yeah, just before the birthday party. Yeah, I mean, she's like read these <laughs> reminds of Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I like her so much. <laughs> oh, there's the cutest. Little muffins. <laughs> oh, damn, that happened. That's unlucky. <laughs> <laughs> Made service tickets. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, that would be really fun. Oh. <laughs> That's so sweet. I really like those two together. It's just so enjoyable. Speaking some clothes. <laughs> oh my god. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, she's like... <laughs> That's really harsh. <laughs> She's not wrong, but <laughs> still. Oh, is this the... <laughs> She's still trying. Oh my, she did the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Man, they're so adorable like this. I mean, they're always adorable, but these chibi versions. Oh, that's so sweet. Wait. Aren't those the gloves she... She was wearing when they were going to school? They mentioned it. So sweet. Ooh. Oh, my God, <laughs> she's like putting the blame on her. <laughs> hey, she probably got something right. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's so cute! Now I want to see her wearing that. <laughs> it's just 
so wholesome. Like every single movement they make just warms my heart. Bad news, I guess. I always like to hear the bad news first, so it ends on a good news. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's nice. She's going to join. Oh, I guess she's going to join in the next episode. <laughs> it's like everything is so much fun that you don't even you're not even aware of time passing by. It just suddenly ends. But yeah, I wanted to mention that um Wait. Is there more? Just some seconds. Oh, there's more! This is the first time this happens. So cute and this is exactly what I wanted to mention like I like all of these girls together it's really enjoyable to see like their relationship and how close um, they got to each other as well considering everything uh, they went through um, but there's definitely some um, like um, I don't know I don't know how to explain this but it's like uh, there's certain pairs of them that are just meant to to be or something so just like they did during this episode, there's clearly um, Ibiki and Miku. This has been like something uh, since the very first uh, season. Uh, but then uh, there's like these really cute moments between um, Shirabe and uh, Kirika. There's also um, like these really fun ones between uh, Maria and Subasa, um, and so on. So there's uh, like uh, plenty of these um, like um, like groups that are like closer to each other. I guess I don't want to say that. Uh, like, um, the others aren't uh, as important, uh, but it's just uh, really enjoyable to see some of these moments between, um, like, uh, these little groups. So, definitely enjoyed um, this first uh, episode, and like I mentioned, I'm going to watch uh, all four episodes during um, this video to make it um, the final one, so it's... Of course, I want to share um, every single feeling I have about um, this anime during uh, this video. I wouldn't, uh, like... Um, I know, it wouldn't feel right to be saying so many things during this one and then uh, uh, like keeping the final two episodes for the next one and there, like, I don't know, it wouldn't uh, like make sense to like say the same things during uh, two different videos. So definitely, um, like, I want to make this um, like a special episode, uh, like a special video in itself. So I don't know how exactly to explain it, but hopefully you guys uh, get to what I'm trying to say. Um, but yeah, either way, I'm just going to start the, the second episode straight away. So hope you guys are ready and let's start it. Man, Elf 9 had such a big impact this season. It was really impressive. And of course, not just her, but Carol as well. It was a big surprise. It's just so nice to see this between them. She was trying really hard to never forget about her. Oh, are they going to show some really fun memories? <laughs> her face. I just love her reactions. 
Keep it down memories. <laughs> okay, then. That's a lot of carols. Probably all of the bodies she had or something, the... I remember the exact name, like clones. Oh, she's there, Elf Knight. <laughs> oh my god, that name. Oh, they're going to fight over that. <laughs> Oh, there's even a sign. Oh my god, they're even showing, like, the little place. Oh. It, like, just... <laughs> they noticed. Tickle her. Oh my god, really? Tickle her to death. <laughs> And that's so that's so nice. And props to these characters as well. I mean, they weren't as flashy during uh, these seasons, but they did a lot of um, helping in the background. Like everyone behind the scenes making every single mission possible. What was he dreaming about? I guess they're going to show. Oh, I remember this. <laughs> oh my god. Oh damn, look at this screen. Oh, that's, that explains it. <laughs> yep. I'm really not into that type of stuff, horror movies and stuff. Oh, it's the auto scorers. That sink. Oh. Hey, this music though. Oh. <laughs> they actually said it at the same time. Man, this carol is just <laughs> so much fun. <laughs> I just love it. I mean, she's already adorable. Like, during the, the normal season, I guess. She's already, like, tiny and really cute. And then the chibi version, it's like... Just adds even more to it. I was actually expecting the, the autoscorers to show up during this uh, episode, since they... They appear during those uh, like screens between the uh, scenes, I guess. Uh, but yeah, maybe they will show up during um, the next one. I'm also expecting the Noble Red uh, to show up at some point. And 
Maybe even Shemha and Enki, I mean, it would be fitting, right, for every single one to, um, to have like um, some sort of um, a fun moment during uh, this special episode. So hopefully um, that um, uh, will happen. Um, and yeah, again, I'm having a lot of fun watching this. It's just uh, like <laughs> these episodes are always something. And um, of course, at the same time, I'm becoming um, a bit sad as well because I'm getting closer and closer uh, to the end of um, like, Sinfo Gear. Um, but yeah, either way, just um, just really want to have fun um, during these um, final episodes. And right now, I'm going to start uh, the third one. So, hope you guys are ready. And let's start it. Oh, there's Vanessa. I guess. Oh, this is their debut or something during the special episodes. Oh, I remember this. Oh, damn. Look at Elsa. She's like. I always loved her so much. <laughs> it's also really wholesome to see this relationship between them. Like more of the casual things they did, not just like the missions and stuff. Because they were definitely really close to each other. It was a really beautiful bond, despite everything they all the bad things he did. Well... <laughs> I still remember how I started hating Millark so much. I mean, I still hate what she did, of course. And yeah, we started understanding their situation. And yeah, this was when things started going down for them, getting involved with Fudo. Well, Bring as many girls as possible. Okay then. Damn, I mean, that's really well said. <laughs> Just so much fun to see these moments between them. Yeah, I mean, teamwork always makes wonders. Oh, this is when they came up with uh, the name Noble Red. I wonder what were the other choices. Else Kitchen. I'm gonna have to stop that screen afterwards. <laughs> there was probably a lot of funny ones, but... It didn't show it for a long time. <laughs> oh my god. Poor Elf9. Yeah, about that. I don't say OMG, but I actually say the thing. <laughs> Just too used to it, I guess.
epic. I love how this is happening and then you hear the, the sound the guy is making while eating. <laughs> I was wondering if they were going to mention it. <laughs> like it was such a... Like a meaningful moment. And then this guy just digging in. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. Oh, look at that. It's samurai style or something. Oh, this is right at the start of the season. Oh, this this sound. This was definitely a roller coaster of emotions. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, this is something that always made me really sad. How they felt discarded because of their appearance. It's just uh, like... I don't know how to say it, but it's just really sad that things like this are actually a thing. That people shame on others because of the way they look and stuff. And yeah, it's, it's one of the reasons that made me have so much compassion towards those three, like how they were suffering so much because like they, they felt like they weren't um, like included in society because of, again, the way they looked. Uh, and everything they wanted was to like to be accepted and to return to their uh, normal lives as uh, humans. So... Again, it's um, there was always a lot of meaning behind this and made me like really sad to see like uh, everything they they went through and uh, again, it's it's really hard to explain. It's just something that uh, you feel. In the end, I just uh, I just felt really close uh, 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 to them and uh, really wanted them to uh, have um, a proper um, ending. I mean, I I was always expecting them to to die at the end, just like what happened with uh, uh, the alchemists uh, during the fourth season. Uh, but uh, considering um, everything I learned uh, about them, uh, I wanted them to like to to have um, again a proper ending for them to die uh, while doing um, something good. So it, it, that's exactly what happened. So it uh, in a way made me. Um, really happy to see that they they didn't die as monsters, they actually died um, as heroes. So yeah, that's uh, definitely something that um, I valued a lot, and it's again one of um, many moments that um, that had uh, just so much meaning that uh, uh, like made everything uh, a lot more um, like beautiful. Uh, the story, um, and yeah, I'm actually actually feel like going back. I don't. Oh, it's right here. I want to see all of the names <laughs> for the for their organization. Oh, it's actually not this one. This is when the other guy was wanted as many girls as possible. Yeah, I don't know how long this is going to take because I'm just not good at finding the right screens. Especially since be since everything happens really fast, but I found it, it's right here. So, there was Requiem for Our Dream, there's Elf's Kitchen, Owls Fair in Love, and ICBMs. I'm not too sure what that is. Victory Road? That's actually not to... Uh... Wait! I'm not too sure. Reading Victory Road kinda made me remember um, what they did um, after... Um, like. 
pretty much uh, when they were um, about to die, when they used that um, ability, like that pyramid or something, with I don't know how many kilometers um, uh, long, um, and that uh, enabled them to, um, like, for the other girls to return to the planet. So it kind of reminded me of that. I'm not too sure if they actually called it uh, something like this, but I remember uh, it being, uh, of course, a really special moment. I'm just not too sure if uh, um, they mentioned some sort of um, a name for it. Um, but yeah, there's also... Alchemic Order of the Silver Twilight. I guess that's a really long name. Sinless Death Valley. That's probably like too dark. Voynich Family. Also not too sure what that is. Evans Rending. That's actually a really nice, uh, nice one. It sounds good at least. There's Last Notice. I guess it's like quite simple. And I mean, at this point, I'm just giving my own um, opinion. And again, I hope I'm not wrong. But this is when they were. It's when they were picking the name uh, Noble Red, right? I hope I'm not wrong about this. I mean, they're literally like picking, they're checking all of these names, and um, like Noble Red isn't here, so it's making me wonder if this is actually it or not. But either way, it's just fun to to watch this. There's also Electric Albert G I T. I'm not too sure how to pronounce that. Uh, there's Girls Girl Demo. <laughs> There's Legend Survivors of Century Third. Third or wait, what? It's not third. It's three uh, and D. I'm not too sure what that is. Oh, Centuries N. Never mind. There's like, <laughs> okay, I was actually like my brain stopped for a while. There's like the trees replacing the E's. Um, so yeah, that's actually a really fun way of um, like making up um, a name, I guess. There's the Anarchy Girls. That's actually like a really cool name. There's Fight Paper Del Man. Not too sure what that means either. Blood Clan Battalion. That's actually. That's also a cool sounding name. Sinister Tree. That's, a, that's, that's also really good. Seven Key Guardians. I wonder if this is related to the, the Seven Relics and like that, um, that special. Uh, not special melody, but I'm not too sure about how to describe it. It was pretty much mentioned by. Uh, the end of um, the season, how by all uh, seven um, of them coming together, uh, they could play the, um, the universal song, I believe, or like, I don't know, they mentioned something about the universal language at least, but again, I'm not uh, entirely sure about uh, uh, the right terms. Um, and uh, there's, um, like, the, the final one is uh, the mother of uh, six, so <laughs> that's uh, a funny one, I guess. Um, but yeah, it was uh, definitely interesting to see like these moments with them uh, having some more casual time. So just uh, trying to decide um, on a, a name for um, uh, their group. Um, and in the end, um, I feel like Noble Red uh, was um, like a fitting one. I'm not too sure about uh, the full meaning behind it. I'm pretty sure there there is one, but um, again, I'm not. Uh, aware of it so if you guys could uh, actually like um, uh, tell me about it it would be really helpful uh, but um, like by like uh, m uh, my guess right now uh, like seeing as it is noble red and they actually had uh, um, like they actually needed these blood uh, transfusions uh, I'm not too sure if it's related to that the red uh, implying uh, like their blood or something i'm not too sure it's just uh, i guess i have uh, right now um but yeah it's uh, definitely something that i'm curious about so hopefully you guys can um, uh, clarify that um, uh, for me um and yeah either way there's um, one last episode so unfortunately it's the final one but uh, again it's uh, probably going to be just as enjoyable uh, as the other one so just really can't wait uh, to see what will happen uh, during it so hope you guys are ready and let's start it oh look at that <laughs> Miku's so adorable and Ibiki as well but <laughs> those outfits <laughs> oh, they do? Okay, that's a... Uh... <laughs> oh, she was hoping. Oh, <laughs> Aww. 
Yeah, that would be quite something. So this is a week before departing for Antarctica. Yeah, pretty much everything was about... Um, like, before the season even started, almost. I guess that explains the surfing picture. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> sure. <laughs> this Maria just making Tsubasa <laughs> confused. <laughs> yeah. Of course she's going to be overthinking this a lot. Man, this was quite the season for Tsubasa as well. She went through a lot. Thankfully there was a happy ending for her as well. Yeah, that they are. <laughs> it, was, it was all because of the penguins. I mean... <laughs> oh my god, she's going back to the second season. <laughs> like how Maria was like the villain there, like she could have never been won. Not something that creature. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, look at that. How is that called again? I don't know the actual name of it. Like them, them being um, pulled by those dogs on the ice. Like on snow, I guess. <laughs> Wait, we know someone who watched the horror movie, that's, okay, that's uh, really creepy. Oh, it was Chris. Oh, no. <laughs> Poor Chris. <laughs> Only that Ed. That's definitely really ter terrifying. She couldn't sleep all night because of the nightmares. Ooh. Well, <laughs> not for Chris. Not the same movie Chris watched. Oh, but she thinks the. Oh my god. <laughs> she actually believes they watched the same movie. <laughs> Poor Chris got the wrong one. <laughs> I ended up Googling it. <laughs> okay then. I guess there's Google there as well. <laughs> well, a lot of crazy things. Oh, on the day of departure to Antarctica. I'm also so happy that Miku was safe by the end. Damn. Man, I like how it ends like this. 
I mean, it's always been like that, right? Miku always waiting for Ibiki. It's just really nice. And when you think about how the season ended, it's like everything... Um, after everything they went through, now they finally decided that they're going to be like more open to each other. They're not going to like keep things for themselves. They're like going to try their best to um, understand each other uh, as best uh, as possible. So yeah, there was uh, again a lot of wholesome during um, this story and um, I already mentioned this before, even in my Discord server, but um, as much as I enjoyed um, the whole story and uh, the plot of everything, and uh, I mean, it was um, always really uh, complex, there was always uh, so much to it, um, but even though it was uh, like always really good, um, to me, what... Uh, I don't know what um, I don't know like how to say this, but what I enjoyed the most, I guess, was the whole um, character development during um, uh, each season. So getting to um, to meet every single one of these girls. I mean, this all started with um, Ibiki, Miku, uh, Tsubasa, and um, Kanade. Um, and then we started um, sl like slowly um, like meeting uh, the others. So then um, Chris showed up, I believe, and uh, then we got to meet um, during uh, the next season. I believe it was Maria, uh, Shirabe, and um, Kirika, and uh, their mother, uh, Nastasha, I believe. Um, and um, there was also Dr. Ver, he was also a really interesting um, a character in the end, despite like doing a lot of bad things. Uh, he ended up um, like um, being uh, helpful um, uh, in the end. So it was, um, again, always really interesting to see the development of uh, all of um, these characters. We, like, I don't know, it's, it's really hard to describe it. It's, again, something that uh, like, you really feel, and it's, uh, it's sometimes hard to put uh, it into words. Um, but yeah, like, seeing everything they went through and uh, how much um, they learned with each other, and also, like, there's also this, I'm going to try and explain it as best as possible, but it's like uh, all of them together, they were... Um, like, really helpful to each other, they, like, by being uh, all together and experiencing uh, a lot of different situations, uh, they came to, like, realize uh, a lot of things, and uh, they pretty much learned with uh, everything uh, that uh, kept uh, happening uh, with them. So, it was uh, then really awesome to see that the things uh, they learned during each season they were passing those um, to the others. So one moment that uh, instantly comes to mind is when, um, I believe it was uh, Shirabe, uh, when she was uh, with Kirika, talking with, um, I'm trying to remember, I think it was, um, I think it was Elsa. They were pretty much um, like sharing uh, with her uh, what uh, they've learned during, uh, like, what they went through, so it's like uh, they had experience with uh, what Elsa was going through, uh, and they were um, like sharing just that uh, with uh, with her. So that's something uh, I found uh, really beautiful. So seeing uh, just how much uh, they grew and uh, how they were helping uh, um, other people, uh, like realizing that, um, like. Um, what they were doing, that it was not uh, um, the right way, and uh, since uh, Shirabe and Kirika uh, went through that, um, they had the experience and they could give some uh, like really good uh, advice. Um, and yeah, again, this is just um, like one of many things that made me enjoy this story uh, so much more. And again, as much as I loved the story, it was like the characters that uh, made. Uh, like, the most uh, of it, I guess. I, like, again, I'm not too sure about uh, how to say some of these things the right way, especially in English, since it's not my, uh, like, um, mother's language or something. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it was just uh, really, really impressive to see how everything uh, happened. And, like, again, I want to, to mention the villains uh, uh, as well, because even though they were doing some... Uh, really bad scenes throughout, uh, throughout the the seasons uh it was always really easy to um, 
to understand them at least. Of course, uh, I'm never going to accept what they did, um, but I can at least uh, understand the reasons why they did it. So, I mean, most of those times, they had no other choice. So they they knew nothing better. They they just wanted um, a better life. So of course they were uh, fighting for it. And since they had uh, nothing to lose, um, they could do some of those um, horrible things. So it, in the end, it was just uh, like really sad for them, for them to pretty much have uh, no other choice, hoping for a better future for them. Um, but yeah, I feel like. Um, Everything was uh, handled uh, really well, so uh, making us feel um, compassion towards uh, these villains and uh, even making uh, at least me uh, cheer, uh, cheer for them a bit, so hoping uh, for them to, um, like, if they had to go, for them to go on, uh, like, um, a good note or something, so for them to uh, not die as, uh, like, uh, bad people, for them to have uh, a proper ending. Uh, and yeah, that's exactly what uh, we saw happening with the alchemists and uh, with the, the noble red. So that's uh, something that, um, again, made me extremely happy. Um, and yeah, again, I'm not too, too sure about um, what else to say. I mean, I could stay here uh, the whole day thinking about um, every single meaningful moment because there are just uh, so many um, of those. Um, and yeah, I'm going to make sure to... To like rewatch this um, sometimes because again the first time um, uh, I watch something so complex, uh, it's um, like hard to pick up on every single detail, right? So uh, it's always um, really nice to then um, like start uh, learning about every single one. It just makes you like have that um, like surprise um, effect and to be even more amazed uh, at what um, you had uh, just watched um and yeah i'm also like um, i really hope that you guys also stay around to like uh, share all uh, of this experience with me and to share more um like uh, details more uh, more like uh, like Easter eggs or something. I don't know how to describe it, but pretty much to just um, talk more about um, Sinfo Gear and to uh, together understand everything um, a lot better. Um, and yeah, I also want to show um, like my appreciation to um, all of you guys supporting me. It was uh, it was definitely it made everything um, like really like even more enjoyable. And again, I really appreciate you guys. Uh, being here with me and uh, experiencing uh, this uh, um, uh, together. Um, and um, again, uh, it was um, like amazing to have started uh, watching this. I had uh, a really great time. Um, and uh, unfortunately, now it's over. So now um, I'm hoping that um, they will make... Um, I mean, I wouldn't say a sixth season because... Uh, the story feels uh, right right now, so like the ending uh, was uh, really good, and it's like uh, they pretty much um, like closed everything, or so to say. It's like uh, all of the connections were made, and the like the story is solid pretty much. So I don't know what they they would do if they made a sixth season. Um, but um, I wouldn't say no to more OVAs and maybe uh, to a movie showcasing uh, some um, some other situation, like some uh, something not related to um, the main story. So hopefully, um, like some studio will um, pick this uh, this anime once again. I'm not too sure about uh, like if there's like a uh, something uh, like already being uh, like mentioned uh, or not i'm not uh, uh, too uh, too uh, aware of it but hopefully you guys uh, will um, like have more knowledge about this um, than me um but yeah either way hopefully it will happen in the future i'm going to have um, to wait and see um what happens um and yeah with this i just really hope you guys enjoyed my reactions to this um, to this anime and if you did please Leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And you can also join my Discord and my Patreon if you want to get early access to my full reactions. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next videos.